quite a remarkable recording this one it's uh, I think it's circa 1930s 40s it's World War two because the first little story refers to a Nazi pilot and then there's two poems and uh, the disc is um, is one of those discs I think you probably got made in a recordio booth in America in maybe a shopping mall or a, or a shop made his own recordings and so it's one story one little story and two rather splendid poems uh, I first saw this on YouTube there's a video up on YouTube of it playing on a, on a record player and uh, the guy uh, I contacted him left him a few comments and he said okay I'll send it to you if you like just for the postage and he's very kind enough to do so and you see what he wrote in the corner there some dude reading poetry and uh, yeah sure some dude it's uh, and some poetry I thought these two poems were really really splendid especially the first one have a listen making the punishment fit the crime a Nazi pilot being brought into a hospital after bailing out in a dog fight, I was considerably shot about, bore himself arrogantly. He spoke good English, and all the while he was being stitched and dressed, he kept up a running fire of abuse against England, the nurse, and the doctor. They rounded off the job by giving him a blood transfusion, then settled him in a nice clean bed and left him with the words, Now, my lad, you have two pints of good Jewish blood in you. We hope that will improve your manners. And now I have a short poem. Futility, written by Mary S. Hawley. I try to catch a rhythm with the makeshift words that limit me. The wind has more success than I by simply bending down a tree. I seek for color and must be content with some cold, distant name. Yet swiftly as the night walks near, the sky is surging bronze and flame. I struggle for a single line to measure my emotions by. A wild bird, effortless, takes wing and writes a poem across the sky. <clears throat> and now another poem, Christ and Woolworth, by Teresa Holly. I did not think to find you here there, crucifixes large and small, sixpence and threepence on a tray among the artificial pearls, paste rings, tin watches, beads of glass. It seems so strange to find you there, fingered by people coarse and crass, who have no reverence at all. Yet what is it you would say? For these I hung upon my cross. For these the agony and loss. Those he, though heedless, they pass me by. Dear Lord, forgive such fools as I, who thought it, who thought it strange to find you there, when you are with us everywhere. <laughs> 